When I created NEO, Microsoft had recently acquired LinkedIn and its learning platform for professional development, Linda. The message was clear. Professionals could upskill through micro-credentials instead of a long-term degree. Somehow, that flexibility resonated with me and resolved some of my struggles back in 2014 where I had to submit academic references for my master's thesis on quite an innovative topic, but the literary data to support my research was outdated. Submitting video URLs as part of my master's thesis references was simply not part of the academic rules to follow. Yet, after expressing the data gathering issues I had, my tutor backed me up and I started compiling articles and YouTube videos to serve as references. I had hacked the system, but the fight to get there was an intense one. The end result was that I absolutely had a blast doing my master's thesis in such a way and my motivation levels to apply my research went through the roof. After three years as a working professional in the higher education industry, both in Europe and the USA, I decided it was time to unpack my previous motivation on the topic and create my own project. We were now in 2017. NEO was born. Why NEO? Well, that was an easy one to respond back then. NEO stands for Nano Education Online. My initial plan was to create a net tech platform where learners could explore content in formats which could better match attention spans and communication preferences. That meant videos no longer than six minutes, podcasts, voice notes, tweets, etc. Microsoft's acquisition of LinkedIn in 2016 reinforced the idea of the product market fit, and I finally took the leap to become an entrepreneur. However, one of the things I didn't want to experience was pressure from investors or going the venture capitalist route. That limited the financial development of the project initially, of course, but my intentions were to scale it progressively rather than through a huge initial bump. Little did I know, though, that the costs for building such a platform were colossal, and that most importantly, hiring someone from an academic angle was crucial for the successful development of the project. Costs started piling up, and the level of complexity of launching such a project was increasing with time. As painful as it was, I decided to pivot the idea to something more feasible, tangible, concrete, and at a smaller scale. The new NEO was reborn, this time, being called Neo Academy. The focus was not an academic one anymore, but one towards the international marketing and student recruitment industry. My previous experiences in the field, the substantial travels to open new markets, and the network I had started to build helped me in this transition. I had to live with the idea that the academic component was no longer there, but gave that a twist in the new version of Neo with this reference to being an academy. We would not focus on the learning experience nor on a B2C audience anymore, but I did want to make an impact on industry professionals through marketing and recruitment counseling by supporting their internationalization strategies and digital marketing tactics. That's when we became a consultancy and our audience shifted to a B2B one. However, we still wanted to be different from traditional consultancies, which are very business oriented and definitely didn't want to be an agency. That's why the academy component was so important for us, because we strive to train our clients and partners to empower them and give them the keys to success rather than keeping them hanging and controlling the relationship. Since 2017, we've gone a long route. Six years have passed and we've learned from every experience. In 2019, I started expanding the team and Neo went from being a one-woman show to a family of professionals where each is an expert in their own field and we have come together to provide the best possible experience for our clients. In recent years, we've undertaken the initiative to create best spoke content for our community and this is certainly something we want to keep doing as a small contribution to the field we work in. We've adapted our services to better match the requests from our clients and the volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous world we live in. We have expanded our scope of clients, both in terms of geographical locations and typology, as we've also integrated language schools and K-12 to our initial higher education marketing and student recruitment offering. The Academy reference has been covered through a lifelong learning pillar of ours, but we've also come to realize that our identity has evolved. And we're indeed the same, but different. 2023 has been a year to look back and see the journey we've undergone. We've evaluated what has worked for us and our clients, 
and where we could also improve. In these years, we've grown stronger together, learned to stick to our values and say no when necessary, and we've sharpened our knowledge to better adapt to the expectations of upcoming generations. Our soft skills are as important as our hard skills, and purpose is what drives our path on a daily basis to leave a better world for the children of tomorrow. We might not be the ones influencing them directly as we have no contact with students, but we do believe in our indirect influence through the support we provide through marketing and recruitment teams at the institutions we work with. Our vision, mission, values, and manifesto are elements for which we intend to wave a higher flag. We want to give back to the world and to have a higher commitment towards the people who have shaped us and the ones whom we will shape. NEO has evolved. Our core is still the same, but we're flying a higher purpose. Learning from failures has brought us to where we are today, and we couldn't be more grateful for the bumps in the road to shape the current version of me, my team members, and my beloved NEO. It is now time for a fresh start. Change is constant, and we've taken inspiration from nature. As a caterpillar evolves into a chrysalis to finally metamorphose into a butterfly, our baby Yoda years are gone, and we've now evolved into a humble Padawan who aspires to one day become a Master Jedi. Stay tuned, as next week we will unveil the fresher version of us.